This time on the driver's corner, we're gonna be installing DIY side splitters on my 1997 Corvette. Stay tuned. All right, so what I've done is I made a template for the passenger side, and that's what I'm gonna to use to make my driver's side board. All right, so I got these all painted up. I put a couple coats of Duplicolor vinyl, um, et cetera, paint, whatever it is, vinyl and fabric. I use that because these are vinyl boards. It's a satin or a matte finish, which should go along pretty nicely with everything else. I'm gonna let them dry for a couple minutes before I go sticking them on because um, I'm gonna use the tape again and I um, just wanna kind of get them they're on and stuck and then I'm gonna run some screws into it but overall so all I did is I, I made one I used it as a template to make the other doubled them up I cut out these holes right here for uh, the jacking points that way the pucks and stuff can still fit and um, I cut them kind of rounded the edges I mean I can touch those up if I need to but overall I think for what they're gonna look like on the car um, I think it's going to look pretty good. So I just recently installed the ZR1 style front lip and, th and the, uh, what is it called? Oh, the Spoiler King kind of duckbill rear spoiler. So I think it'll fill out the side profile of the car and kind of add a couple more black accents that I think are going to make it look pretty sharp. So I finished off. I finished off the uh, visual modifications that I was going to do this weekend. So we we did the front ZR1 style spoiler. I don't know if you can see that, but I drilled holes in those front grills so that air gets in there. I did leave the bottom. Um, air air uh, scoop underneath the car intact so that's still there and then 
we did these side skirts. Can't really see them. I guess they're side splitters, not skirts, but they're just kind of a subtle little step out. You can see it from the side and the back here. And then this back spoiler is still kind of tacking up, so I don't want to take that tape off. You kind of get the idea. Just a little bit of a different, you know, arrow look to the car. And a little other black accents that kind of set it off a little bit from everybody else's at Cars and Coffee. So, sorry about that. Next on the list is new set of wheels and tires. And then I'm going to wrap the hoop and the roof. And then I think she's going to be looking pretty. So then it'll be time to polish this turd. Thanks for tuning in. If you like my videos, please subscribe.